Hey guys, welcome to my time on the farm and in the year vlog. Hi. My mom and I got to spend some awesome time hanging out with these chickens and some goats in a really comfortable, cozy yurt. The place we stayed at was a yurt outside of Orlando. If you've never heard of a yurt, it's a tent, but it's pretty luxurious when it comes to nomadic lifestyle and living. It was storming outside, but it was so warm and cozy on the inside, where the hospitality was just as warm as the yurt was. They had these really awesome maps that they kept on the walls for visitors to track where they were traveling from. And bundles of yarn for those who like knitting. My mom and I, of course, set up an altar on the table and brought all of our favorite tarot cards and oracle decks. Just outside the yurt are the apophas. And underneath the yurt, you could find a family of silky chickens. The first night, my mom and I had a meatball dinner with a salad and fell quickly asleep. The next morning, around 6 a.m., the chickens woke us up. <laughs> we made coffee, met the silky babies outside, and fed them corn, which they enjoyed. Later on that morning, I took a moment to focus my thoughts on gratitude in my five minute journal given to me by one of my lovely neighbors. And I also read Psalms from this awesome book, Powers of the Psalms, which I'll link down below. For breakfast, we had fresh fruit and we were ready to start the day. I wore my boots to keep me warm and my Bahati Life hoodie. Let's take some pictures. Gang gang. <laughs> anyway, on the opposite side of the yurt was a crooked swing, which of course I had to try out. And afterwards I went back to feed the alpaca some grapes. Apparently, these, these guys like grapes. So do I. Oh. You want one? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. How did you know that I had seeds for you? No worries. <laughs> we got a blanket because it's a little chilly. Just a little chilly. Ready to go? Hit the gas, let's go. Which one's gas? This is gas, and this is brakes, yes. I don't know. We're gonna find out. 
to be answered here, Jake, but... Uh, Together we explore the grounds, which is really cool. It includes chicken coops, a meditation spot. And a spot for us to have this singing bowl session. My mom and I were laughing at the essential oils they left behind. Playing the singing bowls outside was absolutely amazing. You may not be able to clearly hear it, but trust me, I could feel it. The vibrations were coming up from the ground. It was an awesome experience. I felt like all of nature was listening. Stop with the lies of a ever remain. Do you see it in your Soon afterwards, we jumped back into the golf cart. To go check out the horses. The goats by far were my absolute favorite. They have so much personality. A little further past the barns, you'll find the big tree house that has a working elevator that goes up and down. Another one of my favorite things about the farms was the activity of the chickens. It seemed like they were always busy, either running after each other or smushing. Later on that night at Goat Happy Hour, I got to feed a few of the kids, aka the baby goats. I fell in love with them immediately. They were so sweet and so fun to watch. I was smiling the entire time. The next morning, my mom and I got up really early to help one of the neighbors milk her goats, which was another one of my most favorite experiences. It was way harder than it looked. But it was really rewarding, and the mama goats also really appreciate it. How long as I have no proof? 15 more seconds and she kicks me right in the face. <laughs> Watching the horses graze and watching the baby goats play made me feel so happy and so much gratitude.
and I was even more grateful and excited when an hour later we got to introduce one of the new additions, the rest of the family. <laughs> They accepted him immediately, although you can tell he was a little scared. <laughs> Later on that day, we suited up for a horseback ride. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm always nervous. <laughs> yeah, I'm <like> nervous. <laughs> I'm a bird go. I'm always nervous. Eating a snacky? <laughs> Look, I'm holding a rope. No big deal. The ride was two and a half hours. We crossed through the woods. We crossed through the fields, back through the woods. Oh, you got some poop coming out. Yeah. <laughs> My horse is like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down. <laughs> You can't unsee that. <laughs> we could see the wild birds out in the distance. The sun was shining. The trees were green and we were talking about energy healing, balancing masculine and feminine energies and astrology. It was such a vibe. Speaking of astrology, of course I brought my tarot cards and my laptop to give a reading for my mom and also to myself. This is one of my favorite things to do with her and I appreciate our time together always. My time on this unique farm was so special to me and their memories that I will never forget. I'd love to hear some of your more memorable moments below. Would you ever stay in a yurt? How do you feel about goats? And I'd love to hear from those who have farms of their own. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was relaxing for you and put a smile on your face. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and I'll see you in my next one.